and this video will allow a group to have permissions that are different from all other groups on the site. And before we begin, I'm going to enable the basic page content type to be able to be posted to a group. I've shown you two ways to do this for the article content type in the videos Organic Groups Basics and Organic Groups Field Settings, and you can follow those same instructions to do this for the basic page content type. Now that that's done, when Chelsea refreshes inside group number two, she can now create a basic page. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to set the group audience to number two and save. You will notice actually that she doesn't have the option to make this private because I didn't add that field uh, to the basic page content type. I do show you how to do that in the video organic groups field settings. So if you're interested, you can check that out. All right, so we see our basic page number one in our group number two. Now let's go back to group number two and select the group tab and this time select permissions. We see the page manager role we just created, and I'm gonna go ahead and give the following permissions to page manager. We'll let them edit own, any, delete own, and delete any basic page. So I'll save that. And in order for this to mean anything, we need to have a user with this role. So I'm gonna go back to group number two, click the group tab, and this time select people, and add the page manager role to Chelsea. So now we see that she does have the page manager role. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and create a basic page as the administrator. And I'm going to put it in group number two. And save. And now if we flip over to Chelsea and refresh, when we click on basic page number two, we see that she can edit it, even though she didn't create it. That's because we gave her those permissions under the page manager role. Now let's make Chelsea a member of group number one. I'll go to the group number one and select group and add people. I'll add Chelsea. And add the user. Now if we flip over and Chelsea goes to group number one, she can create a basic page and she has the option to put this in group number one. This is because she has the site wide permission to create a basic page uh, and she's also a member of this group. If you'd like to be selective about which members can post to your group and what they can post, watch the video Organic Groups Create Permissions.